What is an unexplainable memory from your childhood? Every year at our cabin I have a dream I fall into the lake. Was told later that I fell in when I was younger. I never have this dream at home. I dk if the repressed memory is trying to tell me not to go on the water or just don't be stupid and fall face first. That's the lake calling you. Remember what's under the waves. When I was 10 or 11, I woke up very early in the morning to someone driving down our long driveway. It was dark outside, but I just barely peeked out my window to watch a man look into all of our car windows, survey our flower beds, and finally peer into my bedroom window. I played asleep, and when I looked out the window again, he was driving backwards out of our driveway. In the morning, I mentioned what I saw to everyone, but no one acknowledged hearing or seeing anything. Despite the man's headlights being very bright, maybe even switched to brights, and he slammed his car doors very loudly. But I can remember how scary it was having his face pressed against the window above my head, and praying he didn't try the lock. No one believes me to this day. I swear it was not a dream. Maybe your parents did believe you, and it did happen, but they didn't want you to see their fear and worry. Maybe they knew who it was, and it was better not telling you. Or maybe they believed you, but just hoped it wasn't anything to worry about. Are they non-confrontational people? When I was a kid I had a classmate over who claimed he was a vampire. I didn't believe him. I told him, if his eyes glow in the dark, that would prove he was a vampire. We went into the bathroom, and I turned off the light. His eyes were glowing. It scared the crap out of me. I opened the door, ran outside, jumped on my bike and got as far away from my house as I thought I could. When I eventually came back home the classmate was gone, and my dad was pissed that I abandoned my friend. Only my neighbor was able to make it to my birthday party because of an incredibly strong and sudden snowstorm. I remember the day and the snow so clearly, but my birthday is in July. Maybe it was a party, but not your birthday party? My daughter thinks every occasion is her birth party and there is no convincing her otherwise. <laughs> Breathing underwater. Turns out a lot of people have memories of being able to do something similar. Still haven't gotten an explanation. Well, we did all spend 9 months scuba diving before springing forth into the world. I have a friend who swears he can remember being in the womb. My family and I were driving out of Bellows, a campsite slash beach for military families in Hawaii. I lazily gaze out the window and something catches my eye. About 30 feet away in a clearing before a metal gate leading into the forest was a massive bird. Like 8 feet tall massive. It had a long neck, brown feathers, and very thick long legs. My jaw dropped, and I was still processing what I had seen, when my dad said, what the hell was that? Turns out he had seen it too, and we both described it identically. No one else saw it, and by the time our brains had caught up with our eyes it was too late to turn around. I will always regret not turning around. When we returned later in the day there was nothing there. When we asked a guard about it, he laughed at us. I scoured the internet afterward, and it looked like nothing I could find. At least, nothing that isn't extinct it looked amazingly similar to one of the larger species of moa. But those lived in New Zealand thousands of miles away, and died out hundreds of years ago. This happened back in 2009. And to this day I wonder, whether I saw a Lazarus species. Edit, I appreciate all the attempts, to help illuminate what my dad and I saw. I've looked up many of the bird suggestions, and I'm afraid the legs and neck were just too long and thick to match. I've thought about a freakishly large emu, before as a possibility. However I think, that Per Cayman and Ups Kevin are definition the most promising choices. Also I got my first cyberbully DM from this post. I feel like I'm truly a part of the internet now 3. My sister and I apparently both had the same dream one night, a scary one. We were staying in this villa where we had to share a room and we both woke up suddenly. The window was open, when it hadn't been before. I realized she was awake as well, and told her I'd had a bad dream. And as I started to describe it, she started talking along with me, describing the same dream. In it, this black creature, that looked like a bull, only it had shiny, scaly, plastic looking skin, was standing in the open window with this weird mechanical device, and it somehow fired a projectile at the lamp in the room, which started rocking back and forth. 
neither of us wanted to get up and close the window in case the thing was actually out there, so we called for our mum, and she closed it, reassured us in typical mum fashion, etc. For months we would talk about that incident, and we could never figure out how we both managed to have the same exact dream at the same time. I remember laying in bed one night, staring hard out the window, because it was storming pretty bad. All of a sudden, it got even darker than it was, and my mom calmly walked in my room and said, stop looking out the window, honey, it's not safe. Then she left, and I saw garbage tossed into the air and I could hear the shingles slapping against the roof cause they nearly got ripped off. Pretty obvious it was a tornado, but the next day, my parents acted like nothing happened. We went outside at one point and everything looked the same as it always was, so I don't know if it really happened, or if it was a dream. I'll have to ask my mom later, and see if she remembers anything about that day. My mother walked into my room, waking me up to tell me that most of the world's population was dead. I spent the rest of the day as normal, eating breakfast, going shopping with her, going to a playground, then eating dinner, albeit acting quite nervous throughout. The next day, she tried to make it clear that what started the previous morning wasn't true. I asked her if she remembered, but she told me she didn't. I'm certain it wasn't a dream, because I recalled the rest of what happened the previous day to her, only to be met by her confirmation that everything I remembered was correct, right down to how shaky I was, and how upset I seemed. All except for the part that humanity was on the brink of extinction. P.S. I'm aware that, yes, it is true, that most if the world's population is dead. What I meant, when I originally wrote this was, that most of the living population just dropped dead overnight. I used to have nightmares. My dad put up a poster of Peter Pan in my room, and told me, that when I went to sleep, Peter would fly out of the poster and chase all of the monsters away. I never had another bad dream. I could lucid dream when I was a kid. I would actually get really excited to go to bed because I could decide what to dream and then dream it. I had a reoccurring character in my lucid dreaming. He was a boy my age with blonde hair. We would always play in this backyard slash playground type setting that has a big brick wall on the edge. One night I dreamt that we really wanted to find out what was on the other side of that wall. So we climbed a tree and the boy climbed onto the wall, looked back at me and waved, and went over it. I never lucid dreamed again after that. It actually caused me a lot of distress as a kid. I legit missed him terribly, and tried so hard to lucid dream, but just couldn't do it anymore after that. I had a dream that I met a girl around my age. When I was kid, we shared a whole summer together, playing games and all that. I faintly remember her smiling with the sun behind her before the dream ended. I woke up crying and feeling like I just lost someone important. I was like 3 to 5 years old when this happened. I woke one night while camping in a cabin and I saw a cattail dangle from this lamp. It had sink down and then disappear back up into the lampshade. It also started calling for me, going like hoo hoo, unnerved the hell out of little me. I can't remember if I just never checked to see if there was anything there, or that I did check, and there was nothing there. I chalk it up to just being so tired I was hallucinating. I have a good one. So I would have been 2 or 3 years old. Me and my older brother and sister were playing in our front room. My brother is 2 years older than me, and my sister is 4 years older than me. I remember being able to see straight out the window, unobstructed so there were no blinds or nets etc. Suddenly a white transit van pulls up outside, and 3 men in balaclavas get out, and next thing I know they are in the house. I don't know if the door was broken down or already open or someone opened it. My memory of this is mostly images due to my age and I didn't see the door, if that makes sense, anyway. They start beating up my mum and stepdad. My mum is held up against the wall in the kitchen with a knife. My stepdad is on the floor being beaten and kicked etc by the other two men. It's chaos. My big sister somehow had the sense to get us all out. She helped me and my brother climb out the front window and race next door to get help. Next thing I know, the men run out past us. We are in the front garden and into the van and drive off. I remember all three of us screaming assuming mum was dead given we saw a knife to her. 
She wasn't though. She was beaten but not stabbed, stepdad badly beaten but again. Conscious and okay. Police were never involved. That night we packed up everything we could, and in the night we left that house, and moved an hour away. Spent time living with acquaintances, and in women's refuges etc. Was a long time after, before we had a new home. My mummies. Unreliable at best with details of our childhood. I misranged. We don't talk at all. I remember asking her once what it was about, and she claimed it had to do with her hearing too much about a chalky white murder while she worked in a pub. I don't really believe that. I know my stepdad was in and out of prison, so it's more likely he got involved and screwed over the wrong people. But that whole thing is genuinely my earliest memory. The whole neighborhood thought I was kidnapped. I don't really know why, and what the actual duck is the thought process, of how they think that happened, but apparently the people are frantically searching me. What I remembered, is that my elder cousin and her husband took me to an internet cafe, to let me watch them pick their wedding outfits. When we returned, everyone was shocked, my brother smiles, because he knew I was in trouble, my mom was crying, and my dad slapped the shit out of me. It was so surreal.